Hi fellas, Knife back here again and today we're going to have a quick inbox review of Hobby 2000's P40N Warhawk, Aces of the 49th Fire Group. Now this is a older <coughs> Hasegawa kit, okay, from a probably mid 90s I, I, I would have thought, okay. Uh, so what you get in this kit is also the Hasegawa plastic you get oh, some decals and you also get some vinyl masks for the, the canopy okay so what i'll do put your hands over and we'll crack so start off really nice box so i actually really like this just simple side view of the actual aircraft uh, this lovely metal finish with the the painted aluminium uh control surfaces okay uh on one side we get a little bit of the actual write-up about it and the other about being a plastic model okay uh, not much to write on work on the rest uh, so it's a really simple okay so first up <coughs> let's see that's not sure that stays there we have the instruction booklet a nice instruction booklet uh, just a a3 sheet of paper folded in half really really simple okay so we got our sprue map, some uh, the color callouts down here for the olive drab version, the ma <coughs> the mass set. So you get it with for the outside, the inside, and the wheels, and then the color callouts in AK Interactive, Alcard Two, Ammo Attacker, Mister Color, and Tamia. So open it up, uh, a very busy uh, layout, uh, let's have a look. So yeah, it goes from top to bottom and through this, the 11 steps. So step one, we start with the cockpit as we always do with a uh, aircraft, well majority of the time anyway. And you've got the obviously the cockpit up going together with the instrument panel uh, going on and then uh, going together with a decal for the dials we then move on to the chin radiator or the chin intake uh, the internals of it which then slots together inside of the actual uh, fuselage and then we've got the fuselage the um, the exhaust stacks going on the the rear bulkhead of the cockpit before then we move all the way up to step four, which is the main wing assembly, putting the wings, sandwiching them together with the uh, gun uh, ejection ports on, okay. Moving on to the, the tail and adding the tail to the fuselage. So this was done originally because there were uh, different types because so the tail's different some are a little bit longer some are a little bit shorter depending on which mark of p40 you're actually building onto the really really simple uh wheels with a separate hub and legs and on to part nine where we've got the fairings for the chin radiator the bombs or the drop tack the rear tail uh, there you've got the, the bomb or drop tank uh, mounting parts. Uh, we then move on to adding the undercarriage, the doors for the undercarriage. Before we move on to looking at putting the, the, the propeller together uh, and then putting the propeller in. Now let me just see. Um, yes, missed that part. There is a, uh, what is it? The, one of the rubber grommets so you can take the, the propeller in and out. It just slots up inside the fuselage there. And then moving on to the two color call outs. So we have a overall silver. Okay, also the color call outs that, that are on the front. And then we've got a uh, all over green with a really striking uh, white tail and a blue prop with this young lady um, in a nice pose. Okay, so that's the 
couple of call outs. Next, we'll just look at the final uh, mass set. And as you can see, because it's final, all right, it's starting to shrink and move already. Uh, this is not that old. So with different heats, the, the tensor, this is why I don't like, like vinyl, if I'm honest. But you get it with a kit. So it's not the be all and end all. Then we've got a really, really simple decal sheet printed by Codscraft. So these should not have any problems. They look really, really nice, to be honest. Okay. So Keystone, uh, Athlean and Empty Saddle. We have a few kill marks for Major Johnson and I can't see Pilot. It's in white, but I can't see the actual name of that one. So let's move on to the plastic. Okay, so normal Hasegawa plastic. Okay, we've got three different sprues here. Okay, so we've got the propeller. The, some of the undercarriage parts, the prop, cone, uh, drop tanks and stuff like that. And again, it's really, really nice, nicely moulded, really, really crisp. Okay, uh, a full tyre. Okay, so you just have to get rid of the, the seam line. Okay, that runs out. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that. Oh, my camera will pick it up. There we are. You can just see that seam line. But a couple of swipes of the sinus that should get rid of it. The uh, the chin radiator parts, bombs, drop tanks, and all that sort of stuff. So really, really nice. Okay, nicely detailed legs. Remember, this is a kit that's you know quite old at the moment. The the actual plastic itself. Okay, uh, another part of the undercarriage. Got another wheel, hubcaps, and all that sort of stuff. Then we have the gun shoots, the uh, empty camo, uh, camo, empty ammo shoots, the hollowed out cannons. I don't know what they were in here, probably 50 cals, uh, but they look really, really nice. I just hope they fit nicely into the actual wings. Uh, the Exhaust, unfortunately, they're not hollowed out, so they will need some, some work on them to hollow them out, but it shouldn't be too hard. Low wing. I've just got a little bit of something on there. Okay, so low wing. Nice detail in the uh, the front part of the undercarriage bays. Uh, really, really nice crisp panel lines. Uh, lovely texture with the rivets as and where it has them so yeah really really nice that's just gone all over the floor so i'll pick that up in a minute then we have the rear bulkhead again really, really nice raised and recessed detail for all the the rivets the seat uh, then we've got the the rear bulkhead of the actual and the armour plating. So a little bit of flash, but nothing to write home about on there. The instrument panels, they are really, really nice. Okay. With a nice dry brush, you should be able to pick them out all lovely. Okay. Tails. Tail parts. So they, they should go together really well. It's looking really nice, this kit. And then we've got some uh, grills. Okay, I didn't see where they went on, but I'm assuming they'll go on around the uh, engine bay area. Upper wings. So we've got the upper wings. Again, some nice detail on here. Uh, one part. Uh, tails. And control surfaces, well, maybe not the actual control surface, they're two parts, but again, some nice raised and recessed detail on there, and again, on the wing, yeah, it's really nicely, nicely uh, molded. 
and then onto the fuselage and the cockpit and the we'll have a look at those bits in a minute but those are the uh, undercarriage bays so again some nice detail actually on the fuselage just see it's picked up out out nice the side panels of the actual cockpit floor of the cockpit's really nice i really like that some really nice detail on there so that should pick up a wash really well and then you can you know weather that to your heart's content some simple but effective uh undercarriage bays though that being said there's pen plenty of injection pin marks i don't know if you can just see them oh, one two three four five and it's the same in that one there so they're going to need to be dealt with but other than that yeah some really really nice detail and then we move on to the clear parts so I'll just go open these up and as you can see even tells you it's made in japan just there and then we've got the super super clear parts No, nah. all right. As with most Hasegawa kits, the uh, there's not a real pronounced, you know, there's not a real pronounced ridge. Okay, so to actually get this mast yourself, okay, would be a little bit of a, a pain. So that's probably why it's a good idea that they've got the the mast set within this uh, but it'd be your choice whether you use them or you try and make your own out of uh tamiya tape or some or something similar okay so there we are there's a uh, hobby 2000s p40 again a hasagawa plastic so you shouldn't have any major issues that being said i'm having some issues with the uh, typhoon but i've heard that this builds up really really nicely so again you know you uh you pay your money and you take your chance i suppose but yeah it looks really really nice some really nice detail just hoping it goes together well anyway that's it for now guys i'll see you on the next one bye